PVE Warden Healer for Beginners. Put all 64 attribute points into Magicka. For the Restoration Staff front bar, put on Radiating Regeneration, Budding Seeds, Energy Orb from the Undaunted Skill Line, Combat Prayer, your most important heal, Illustrious Healing, the longer duration morph, Front Bar Ultimate, use Feral Guardian. We're just using it for the Flourish passive under Animal Companions for more sustain, so don't actually cast it. Morphing it is not important. For the Back Bar Destruction Staff, put on Elemental Blockade, the longer duration morph, Echoing Vigor from the Assault Skill Line, Blue Betty for extra magic as sustain as you're just starting out. Later you can drop this skill for something else like Fetch or Infection. Treat this as a flex spot. Expansive Frost Cloak. Overflowing Altar from the Undaunted skill line. Back Bar Ultimate is Aggressive Warhorn to give your group major force which will increase their damage. For the monster set, obtain Sentinel of Rakugans which is base game and easy to obtain. It will increase your healing and help with sustain. You'll need to run Darkshade Caverns 1 Veteran for the headpiece. Join a guild and ask your guildmates for help if you're having trouble with the content. Note in the future, if you decide to run with more advanced groups, the monster helm will vary based on group needs. For the body, obtain the Spell Power Cure Set, which will give you and your group major courage, increasing damage and healing done. It drops in the White Gold Tower DLC dungeon. Healing a target that is at full health, known as overhealing, will apply the buff. Ideally, make all of your body pieces, including the monster set, Divine Trait. Use Max, Magicka, and Chance on all body pieces. For the jewelry and the back bar destruction staff, obtain Powerful Assault. This set is very easy to obtain, as you can just buy it from guild traders. We're just back barring Powerful Assault and using the Vigor skill to proc it. Jewelry traits should be all infused with reduced spell cost enchantments. This will make it easy to sustain your Magicka. An infused lightning staff is the back bar. The enchantment can vary. Here I recommend crushers so that you can help your group do more damage. Ideally the powerful assault staff is lightning so that you can proc the off balance debuff on enemies. Damage dealers often run the exploiter champion point which does a lot of damage if you proc off balance. Finally for the front bar, obtain the master's restoration staff from Dragon Star Arena which helps your group to sustain. Use Powered as the trait for more healing and Berserker, also known as weapon damage, as the enchantment which will also increase the healing dump. The staff does not need to be the perfected version. If the master staff is too difficult for you to obtain, you can buy a restoration staff of the trainee from a guild trader which will serve as a placeholder until you can obtain the master's staff. A crafted restoration staff such as Order's Wrath would also work. If Spell Power Cure isn't available to you, the Olarim set from Cloudrest gives the same buff but is a little trickier to use. If neither set is available to you, two crafted sets like Order's Wrath and Julianos will do as placeholders until you can obtain SPC or anything else that you're missing. Use the Ritual Mundus to increase your healing. The gear body pieces are all traded divines to boost your healing further. For champion points, our three main blue slottables for healer are Swift Renewal, Soothing Tide, and Rejuvenator. The fourth slot is a flex. Typically it's enlivening overflow or from the brink. For red slottables use Boundless Vitality, Expert Evasion, Rejuvenation, and Celerity. The only green slottable that matters is Steed's Blessing. If you can't afford 50 points into a slottable, just put 10 points into each for now until you can obtain them all. The buff food is Artaeum Pickled Fish for Max Mag and Health. It's available at Guild Traders. Any race will work. I usually go Breton on my healers as I like the additional magic of sustain. The basics of how to use the Warden Healer. Combat Prayer is your emergency heal. If someone is in trouble, spam this until they're okay. Think of it as your main heal or expensive spammable. It also buffs your group with Minor Berserk, so cast it at least once every 10 seconds. Radiating Regeneration is your chief spammable. Use this skill whenever your other skills are still active and nothing needs to be reapplied. It's a sticky heal over time, so it hits players without you having to aim it. Useful when a group is in motion. Illustrious Healing, Energy Orb, and Vigor are your main heal over time skills, or HOTS. Keep them on group and keep them up on cooldown, don't let them fall off for very long. Vigor is used on the back bar to proc powerful assault, 
but you need to cast Vigor twice in a row for full group coverage if it's a group of 12. Let Vigor fall off for a moment before recasting so the smart targeting of Powerful Assault works properly. Expansive Frostcloak buffs your group with major resolve, padding them against damage. Don't let this skill fall off ever, it's better to recast it early. Overflowing Altar gives a synergy to a player that is about to die that will save their life. Budding Seeds is your class heal that will proc the maturation passive in the green balance line. This gives your group minor toughness so they'll have more health, making it easier for them to live. When this skill ends, it does a burst of healing, so let it fall off, don't reapply it early. Elemental Blockade combined with the Infused Destruction Staff helps proc our enchant and keep it active. If it's a Shock Staff, the skill will also proc off balance on enemies. Blue Betty is for better magicka sustain. If you're new, sustaining your skills can be a challenge, so this will help you. Later, when you're more comfortable, this skill can be replaced with another buff or debuff.